Don't everybody speak at once. Oh, was that, was that the return? No. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, we're all, everybody heard you say stupid intro. What <laughs> <laughs> well, up. And apparently, uh, what I wanted to finish up my Kim Kardashian news, because this will really make my wife happy, her and her sisters are going to the UK. Okay. To promote their, Are they uh, the Kardashian, yeah, they're going to stay there. Good. So Kim wants to meet the Duchess of Cambridge. Uh, she wants to be like what's her name? Why so? Uh, uh, apparently, because the, you know, so she's so revered. Uh, uh, I'm assuming she, you know, okay. she's trying to drop some that no, energy for her next tape, <laughs> like so she can be <laughs> even more revered. Now, revered. Blockbuster, right there. <laughs> I mean, at this point, they should just make. A well, you know, though, uh, I'm gonna say when the when the tape comes out, disgustingly, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, you know, I, I I'm gonna feel bad, but I have to. You know, you're kidding. How can we say no? I'm sure you're gonna feel bad. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else do we have? I know Arvin doesn't read the news, but anonymous threatened Zynga and uh, Facebook over the weekend. I don't know if you guys read this. Um, yep. They gotta love this group. You know who Anonymous is? Yeah, they've taken down a lot of sites. Yeah, they uh, they had a really good time this week, and apparently they went after Zynga and uh, took all their games off the server. But Zynga uh, allegedly. No wonder my mom was acting weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Zynga game, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Uh, apparently. So is that like the same thing they see um, seeing uh, the Big Bang Theory? No, that's Bud Zynga. And what is this? Zynga. Zynga. It's, it's, what do they say? All the Facebook games that you see on their farm bill, all the ones that you get invited to that you don't want to oh, play, yes. a lot of people would play those, and they make a, a load of money. A I mean, of they're like in the millions, uh, well, hundreds of millions. According to Anonymous, they've got a billion-dollar cash reserve. Uh, but because they're losing market share to I don't know who, but uh, there's a, a, a secret document. Zynga? No, no, Zynga is. That they're going to lay off a 1,000 employees. And they hadn't told anybody yet. So uh, Anonymous says they found out, and they're staying with a billion-dollar cash sitting in the bank. They think that such actions are an insult to the population and behavior of corporations like Zynga must change. So they're saying they're going to take them down. Although I have to say, whether they take them down or not, all of these online companies have insurance for this. So if they're offline for a certain amount of time, they don't care because they've already paid into it for insurance. Insurance then picks up the tab. There's actual online insurance that you yeah. can go get. Uh, can we get that for our show? <laughs> How come we have online insurance? We'll take the next six months off. Oh. <laughs> Wait, do we have online insurance? <laughs> <laughs> but what happened to the good old days when, when you wanted to play with animals, you actually had to go down to the farm? Look, whatever you or and that and the little. <laughs> I'm wondering where this is going, and yeah. Because you know, you know you can milk a bull, right? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, <laughs> somebody's got a bull in here. Um, I lost my complete. Dude, you and the animal things threw me off completely. Oh, what I'm gonna say is, okay, look, over on the right side of the room, we've got two lovely-looking people. Why? Thank you. Not you. Cool. Not you either. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying is, that's because we invited them into the studio. Okay. What, what amazes me is how people today live and die behind a screen. I mean, you know, we, we have associates who I remember earlier in the year, one of the New Year's goals, because they posted it, was to get 500 friends this year on Facebook. Loser. <laughs> I, I, I have a similar goal for the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, only yours was uh, part of the Mambla site, so we've got different issues with you. Uh, I've I never mean, even heard of that. Are, you know, in the entertainment world, what do you see? Why do so many people want to hide behind a screen? Are we talking about, like, Facebook? A yeah. Screen? Um, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. You, you know, I, I think that there's a point where people get – it's just like a lot of these Twitter pages, which have hundreds of thousands of fans and followers. And you're like, who's behind that? Because it takes a lot of time to get there. And, you, you know, it's somebody that is in their home that are probably the most loneliest person ever. You know, Aaron, now I have a question. Last time I checked, you have like sixty thousand. I am the loneliest person. Sixty-two thousand, by the way. I was just going to say, speaking from experience, there's some, there's some pluses. If you're in this industry, I think it's important to show that you have fans or you have, you know, a Twitter following. Because a lot of the times, the networks are saying, if you're trying to pitch a show to them, they're like, 
How many people are listening? How many people are watching? How many people yeah. like you? So proving that is one thing, but I do think um, just in general, like you need to have like, you know, your friends, your family, those people that you actually pick up the phone, talk to, you go have lunch, things of that nature. We just grabbed something to eat with a, a friend of ours that we've known for a few years now. And it's important to do that because, I mean, you do, you lose the, the social skills, so, too. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. And they start on the news, and it, it's, it's convenient that we're talking about it. Do you have phone anxiety when you don't have your phone with you? Yes. I will say I do. How, how long can you go without your phone? Two minutes. <laughs> yeah, because you know it's funny because you haven't put your phone down since you walked I in. I know. You know what it is? I don't have an answer since he's been answering. Go ahead. I'm just saying, like the other day, she did, she misplaced it, and and that was the only thing that she could think of. But when you think about it, our phones are Snickers. Our phones are everything. I mean, <laughs> this isn't a Snickers commercial. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, phones are everything. I mean, we've got private photos on there. We've got our Facebooks and Twitter. Okay, he had to say private photos. Now you're just making me seem like a freak. Well, what? 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 I was meeting there's some, there's some uh, so, special individuals working think, on uh, that phone's going to go missing today. Phil, so, <laughs> we're talking about private photos. So where are you going? Hold on, I'm going with this. So, my phone fell in the pool. My, the greatest loss on my phone, everything else can be replaced, is the pictures of Arvin and Mike in compromising positions. What kind yep. of nonsense are you talking about? <laughs> You know what? Let, let's move on from that. So let's let's talk about. Do you know your computer so we can share with you? Because it's one thing. Don't to me. Because it's really funny to everybody. Okay, it's one thing to, <laughs> 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 okay, one thing to drop your phone in a pool or in a toilet or a urinal. I'm talking from experience. But that's okay. No, 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 that's not. What do you when that happens when you drop it in a toilet? I continue with the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What service do you have? <laughs> but the question it, it's um, he went to actually fish his phone out of the pool with uh, what do you call those? The pool cleaner? Or, uh, the, the net. The, the pool. pool net. And somehow, as the phone's coming out of the pool, out of the water, the net breaks and it goes back into the pool. <laughs> oh my God. It's stayed up. It's stayed up. So I, I watched my phone go flying and it's motion. It's happening to my head. And I watched it hit the water. So I'm like, okay, the little screen is on and it's going down. And I get over to the side of the pool, I grab the pole, and I go to scoop it up. And as I'm halfway up, apparently the sun hit me through the net. And there goes my phone even deeper. How come you didn't oh jump in, huh? No. <laughs> can you swim? Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, I can swim. He can swim, but he can't dive because the body weight is screaming right there. I think they're going to drop in for a phone, man. It just wasn't <laughs> important. And you know what? That, that's That's... Something amazing ha- happened from that. Who cares about the election? Who cares about the end of the world? You left Blackberry. Yay! Yay! I've been trying to get him to switch to the new phone. You get the galaxy? The galaxy. I want that. Look at that. So for uh, as long as I can remember, I'm like, and just last week, that. Aaron's like, oh. You guys are in the dark ages. You and Mike, I see your Blackberry. And I told him, I love my Blackberry. I, I have no reason to change. Uh, there was, there's, you know, I am happy. So, you know, just like the Republicans, God intervened. So it was meant for you to get a new phone. Help me on your statement. And how does that happen? Because, <laughs> because rape is, is a God. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, 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 you're going to ruin that one. <laughs> Boy. I do. People who live with their mom. Really shouldn't discuss politics. Again, I don't live with my mom. We're roommates. <laughs> <laughs> I have my own room at the bottom of the house. It's called the bed cave. <laughs> okay, Walla Witch. Um, you know, hold on, man. On a serious note. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're serious here? We're serious. From time to time. Sherman Hemsley still not buried. And he's been dead three months. What? Is that because his family's fighting over the world? I know. What the hell, man? So your point is what? Dude. 
What is George Jefferson, man? What, what is the word? You don't mention George Jefferson. Yeah, they still be buried, or they still figure it out. Yeah, what, what does it have to do with the body? They have so, They dispute in the window, so they still have him in the fridge at the coroner's office. I could understand, understand that. that. I to bring him out of the fridge and ask him. And the gun is what? $50,000. It's not like he's a billionaire. So, so these people are fighting for that. That happened in my family, though. My grandma died. My right. grandma died in December. We wanted to bury her, get it over with, get it done, you know, get everybody moving on. And we had to wait for somebody to come from Louisiana. It's like they walked. Because <laughs> it took forever. And it took at least a, a month and a half to finally, you know, do the process of the Were funeral. Were they bus? It's just getting cremated. Wow. Yeah. They must have been at Spirit Airlines. Have you guys done <laughs> <No. laughs> Spirit Airlines. Is there a bigger I'm jump just, of an airline on the planet? I've never taken it until recently I took it to Miami. Miami was great. But Spirit... Too? They took you for water. Yeah. On the plane. Well, they they carry you. on. Carry on. That, that might be like a deal breaker for you, but for us Mexicans, we carry water, m and oh, oh, No, no, no. no. We're going to back Spirit Airlines when we come back from the break. You're listening to the three guys with a special guest, Aaron and Kelly. We'll be right back. Would you like to comment? Get on the radio. Check out our website at www.thefreeguysrand.com. The Close your eyes in Chicago. And you can hear the sound of zebra braying in Africa. Look hard out your window in D.C. And you can see the snow-covered peaks of the Andes. Stand on a corner in L.A. and feel the hot wind of the Sahara brush across your face. The world is that small. We are that connected. Please visit earthshare.org and learn how the world's leading environmental groups are working together, making it so simple for you to make a difference. Because we are many, and we are one. Please visit us at earthshare.org to learn more. Earthshare. One environment. One simple way to care for it all. A public service message from Earthshare and the Ed Council. All of you who want to go to college, want to go, you best listen to this knowledge. Listen. You gotta be a go getter, cause it's hard to get there. Get up in the face, get up in the space. Excuse me, missus. You say you're my teacher, you say you're my preacher. Excuse me, mister. You act like you're large when you say you're in charge. So show me, what is it that I need? So tell me, the books I should read. Somebody hit me with the 411. There are steps to take, there's a job to be done. I won't step one step. 